Welcome to Blind Tiger. This week we're going to be talking about Ark Survival Evolved. I'm going to be going over a little taming, a little bit of combat, a little bit of building, gathering, and crafting. So we got a lot to go through. So I'm going to break it up into a few different videos. This is basically just the tip of the iceberg, letting you know what's going on, where I've been, what I've been up to. There was just simply too much to arc to just dive into a YouTube video. I felt I was unequipped and ill-prepared to bring you quality footage. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to my hacienda. Over the last week, I have been building this structure on the beach of Ark. And it is a stone fortress. It took me a little while to get to this stage. It's a pretty heavily fortified area. As you can see, I have uh, wooden spike walls, palisades all around. I'm going to be setting up a garden in this area. A dinosaur gate over here. And a little tower right about here, which you will be able to watch me build in due time. So, Ark. Why play it? Well, it's the best game I have played since Ultima Online, before they created the Felucia Delucia garbage. This game allows you, affords you, total freedom. If you want to kill someone, you can kill them, just like any other game. It's nothing special, nothing new. But in this game, you can take everything from that person. You can take their weapons, their clothes, you can kill their mount. If they leave the door open, you can enter their base, destroy everything in their base, rob their base. If you knock that person out, instead of killing them, you can then take what is called narco berries, place them in their inventory, and make them eat them. It's hilarious. You can keep people sedated. You can drag them wherever you want, throw them on the back of your mount, take them for a ride, ditch them in the middle of the jungle, or put them in a cage and tell them to put lotion on their skin. A little bit of uh, silence of the lambs there, I'm kidding. Don't take it in that direction, but some people do. I'm not going to kid you, there are some weirdos on here. This game draws the weirdest, most sociopathic people I have ever played with, and I love it. I love every minute of it. I have uh, created a small tribe, Wild Boys. As you can see, Wild Boys own this area. I am the tribe leader. Um, at this point, it seems to be mainly Steam players who have access to this. Uh, just last weekend, actually, there was a free pass for anyone who wanted to play ARK. The server was just pumping. A little while ago, I saw someone running over in that direction. It's actually a fairly busy game for early access. It doesn't feel like early access. The game is very refined. I have noticed very little in the way of glitches. And the glitches, I don't know if it's on the game's end or my end. A simple restart fixes them. Um, the admin, the owners, the developers are very active. It's almost daily updates, daily content. I have turned the settings down on this game. Um, most people running this game either have really good computers or run on low settings. I'm somewhere in the middle. My hardware is not the best, not the worst. Um, the game runs flawlessly for me. Um, you will experience minor early access things, lagginess, whatnot, what have you. But overall, it's the best game I have played in years. And I am not joking. If you don't have this game, it's the best $30 you can spend. Get Steam, download Steam, get this game. It's going to consume your life. But trust me, it's worth it. And my fortress, like I said, it was constructed in a week. I have been recruiting the uh, aid of any low levels who come this way. I give them shelter. I give them food. I give them security in return for a little bit of work. Um, today, I just want to show you where I am, show you the area. There's too much to dive into just any aspect. I believe in the next video we're going to get into crafting. Um, reset your keybinds right away or learn what everything does. Like, for example, you see this stone on the ground? I just simply press E and I added one stone to my inventory. 
you can pick all the plants which will give you berries of various kinds there's the narco berries those narco berries the blackberries don't eat them they are used with meat that has gone bad and it creates a neurotoxin which can be applied to arrows which I'm going to show you how to do it's going to be part of the crafting tutorial right there see that explosion of rock that is actually a player over there let's go see if he's reasonable let's go have a conversation he's just over this way there he is hey friend I'm uh, friendly here I'm friendly don't worry making a YouTube video Bob oh, oh yeah and that's the other thing people his name is Bob it's either Bob Joe or Ann if you log on and you don't set your character's name you're gonna be Bob or Joe or Ann so I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and change your name before entering hello Bob you speak English a lot of uh, a lot of foreigners a lot of Europeans a lot of Middle Eastern people on this server not a lot of North Americans per se but our population is growing Bob, can you hear me? Alright, Bob. Keep on keeping on, brother. Okay. Well, we're not going to waste too much time here with Bob. He said he cannot hear us. Uh, you press B, Bob. There you go. There you go. Alright, Bob. I gotta keep moving. Um, I'm taping for YouTube right now. We're making a web series, a YouTube series. We're Blind Tiger. Our base is just over there. We're the Wild Boys. We're going to be recruiting a lot of low levels. Bob, for the purpose of this video, I would like to invite you to the tribe if you're interested. If not, I'm going to let you continue on your way. Sorry for my English. I am from Spain. I speak a little. Uh, no problem, Bob. No problem. Alright, Bob. Um, I'll come back over here, brother. Just keep on keeping on, and uh, I'm sure we'll meet up again. I just got to wrap this video up, and I will be out and about, my friend. You're safe in this area. Just on that hillside over there, Bob, there's a vicious uh, dude that lives up there. He will come down here and fuck you up if you're not careful. And, it, Bob, see the direction I'm facing? In that direction, there are some plants. Uh, one of the larger tribes made a base there and grew a bunch of them. They'll kill you at about 50 yards. They shoot some ranged green goo. I'm going to advise that you stay away from it. Anyway, talk to you in a bit, Bob. Alright, that was Bob. Like I said, when you make your character, guys, change the friggin' name. Because you're going to level up the character, get no respect. Nobody respects a Bob or a Joe or an Ann. Change your freaking name. Drives me nuts. Not really. I'm not really a stickler like that. I really don't care. I'm all about having fun. Enjoying myself. And uh, that's exactly what I do in Ark. So, my building is not too intricate. Um, if you do build, I'm going to get into building, but a basic uh, premise of building is make your front door, make an entrance area, and then have your base on the inside so this is where my tribesmen if they're low levels I let them uh, I let them sleep in this room because you do not your character doesn't log out you log out but your character's body actually stays in the game so it is imperative that you do have a stone fortress or at least a safe spot to stay so don't go it alone for the first little while guys you level faster with the tribe you everything's easier with people until you know what you're doing, don't branch off on your own. It's just, it's not common sense, but it's uh, its the way things are here. And as you can see on this door, it's administration or admin ac only access. Uh, it prevents anyone that I invite to my tribe from entering. And if you do start a tribe, which I will get into on another video, make sure you change all the privileges right away. Because if I didn't change the privileges and just invited anybody, any Tom, Dick, Harry, Joe, or Bob, for example, they could come and start demolishing my walls. So you want to set your privileges to basically just you. Don't trust in this game because you're going to wind up regretting it. And 
that is all I'm going to talk about for tribes and building at the moment. I'm just going to take you upstairs and show you the beauty of my stone fortress. So, someone comes up to talk to me, I open up my doors, and we talk down to them. So basically, they're standing at my front door, and I'm sitting up here with a bow and arrow. And you will see crossbows and metal weapons soon. Like I said, this is a primitive server, but I find it's very enjoyable. I don't need a gun, I don't need a rifle, because I'm a new player on Ark, so... The people who are advanced right now with crossbows and can kill me at somewhat long range would be sniping me from the mountaintops if I was on um, the PvP hardcore everything in servers. So you're going to enjoy yourself a lot more if you just go primitive. As you can see I've ran a little bit of piping which again I'll get into at a later time. So if we get under siege in this base, my people have water. You need to stay hydrated, you need to stay fed very very important so guys uh, this is going to be it for the beginning phase of my arc survival evolved series the game is amazing it's just absolutely amazing the range of things you can do will blow your mind the freedom you get will blow your mind and the fun you're going to have, trust me, it's going to blow your mind. And I plan to bring you some of the darker sides of ARC. So stick around. It's going to be worth your time. It's going to be funny. It's going to be enjoyable. And I know it's going to push you to buy this game. All right, people. Blind Tiger's watching you.